Um, You're live. Talking shit about other people when you go live? That doesn't go well, ever. <laughs> Jessica's about to make a boo-boo. Good morning. What's going on, guys? If the music's too loud, let me know. I'm sitting by the pool. Actually, you know what? Penny, can you lower it down? Just hit the volume button. Mm -hmm. Living the dream, man. I had a long couple of days. Um, Kamish is still out for the count. My man is out. He is sleeping. You get No, <laughs> I should Sounds like a freight train's in there. But uh, I'm eating my, I eat, I eat croissants, man. I'm a big croissant guy. Little toasted croissant. A little bit of butter. Mm. That was messy. And my coffee, my cafe con leche. Good morning. Good morning. All right, if you're, the, you're in the Facebook group, go to the um, top of the page. Hit um, permission for Facebook to share with um, StreamYard so I can read your who's putting comments in. Yeah, so good morning, guys. Happy Sunday morning. Uh, this morning, I'm going to be smoking the Fuera de Siri by Tony Picks. He's a good friend of mine out of Miami. I'll post a, I, uh, I'll post a better picture of it. I know it's hard to see here with the light and, you know. But it's a, it's a little mini Habano. It's a great morning cigar. I really enjoyed the, the flavor notes on this. It goes amazing with my coffee. You know, honestly, it goes great with my croissant. So um, I'm really going to, you know, that's going to be my first cigar of the day. So um, last couple of days been pretty interesting. Uh, having a great time here in Florida. You know, we spent uh, the better half of our day on Saturday at Don Kiki Cigar Superstore. And then had a great time with Karen and, and everyone there. Uh, Pete Hernandez. Uh, Willie, um, obviously Karen and the ladies that were there. Then we shot over to Karen's house. We had a, an amazing meal at 3 o'clock in the morning. I cooked up steaks and potatoes for everyone, smoked some cigars, and just herfed it up. I had a great time. Sunday, um, once we made it out of the house, because we didn't get home till 5 o'clock in the morning that day, Shot over to Executive Cigar in Sanford, and um, we were there for the Rocky Patel event with Nish Patel and Nimish. Uh, we had a really great time. The event was a, I mean, smash. It was so packed there. We also we were also joined by Melanie Cisco, the Cisco Kid. Had a great time with her. Hey, David, what's up? Tyler, good morning. Um, yeah. It was really nice to meet her in person, and I'll be able to talk to her for a little bit and and talk to everyone there. And that's what we go to cigar shop for, right? To really herp it up and and talk about our experiences. You know, talking to Tony yesterday. Tony Nardone is the owner of Executive Cigar Melbourne, um, and I believe co-owner with the Executive Cigar Sanford, a franchise owner. Um, Sitting down with Tony yesterday um, was honestly, what a huge blessing, man. I always feel blessed and lucky and humbled when I'm able to speak to people in the industry that have way more experience than I do, um, that are willing to share their knowledge um, to help guide me with in my path, right, in my on my journey. And um, whether it's to find the best cigar, best cigar shop, or just to, you know, learn, um, I love being able to sit down with these guys. And Tony yesterday was telling me about, and we're gonna. I'll talk about this on our show Wednesday. I really touched, you know. I'll just kind of bring it up now. But morning, David. Uh, is it Botwell and David Clark Wayne? What's up, guys? Good morning. Happy Sunday to you guys. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, you know, the cigar experience isn't just about going to a lounge, sitting down, right, and smoking a cigar. That's just a part of it, you know. 
the flavor profiles, the you know the the, the smells, um, you know, think all your senses, right? Um, that's only a piece of it, right? You want to find that that great cigar shop that you're welcomed at, right? That provides a great place. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna say a great place. You can find so many hole in the walls that are great places. Um, but provide a clean atmosphere to you to, you know, when you first walk in there, you want to be like, wow, this place is amazing. Like, I want to sit down. Great seating, you know, full liquor bar, beer and wine that's, you know, that we like to drink. Um, you know, you want that. Ex- that's that's the whole experience, right? You know, and um, and then having a half decent selection of cigars and someone that's knowledgeable enough, knowledgeable enough to speak to you about that, right? It's one of my pet peeves when I walk into a hemador, and by no means, most tobacconists don't know as much as I do. Um, you know, only a handful of them can can really keep up with me when it, when I walk into a hemador. Same as Joe Watt. You try to corner Joe in a hemador, God bless you. He's going to educate you real quick um, and then make you do some push-ups. But um, it's that's the whole package for me, right? And um, for part of the package, and, and like I said, Wednesday, I'm actually going to make a show about that because I, I really, in talking to Tony, man, my eyes kind of opened up a little bit. And I'm like, he's right, man. That's exactly what I'm looking for when I go to a shop. So I'm not going to waste your time on a Sunday, guys. I'm going to do an hour show here. I came home last night at, you know, midnight or so. I don't know what time it was. Um, and I've been waiting on a package this week that I ordered um, from Cigar Clowns. So you all know what I got already. I'm sure. And if you don't, you're about to find out. Cigar Clowns is a group on Facebook. And they are also a tobacco. Well, I don't want to say manufacturer. How would I say? Uh, anyway, the Cigar Clowns, the group there, they own um, a, a brand, a cigar brand. There it is. Sunday morning, it's early. I haven't finished my cup of coffee. Bear with me, guys. Uh, they have a cigar brand called Cigar Clowns. And what they do is they promote it on strictly only on their Facebook group, Cigar Clowns. Um, they call manufacturers. They make cigars with these manufacturers. They purchase cigars from the manufacturers. Limited release, one time only. Post it on their, sh- on their um, Facebook group for you to purchase, and that's it. Once they're sold out, they are sold out. Uh, they've been given ratings between 91 to 96 by Boston Jimmy. Now, if you guys don't know Stogie Press, I haven't really looked into it because you want to, you know, you like cigar aficionado, you like to watch the cigar reviews on, you know, there's a million cigar reviews out there. Myself, is, I'm a part of that. Um, I respect that. But check out Stogie Press. With Stogie Press, what you get out of Stogie Press is not just 20, 30 fucking years of experience. I mean, Boston Jimmy started everything we're doing today everything i'm doing kevin shahan you name it he started that man like he was in the beginning he was there in the 90s hustling 80s hustling i mean this dude knows what he's talking about um you know i respect that him and i have similar palettes too so when he talks about a cigar you know i'm listening because i want to know what he thinks you know i want to know what flavors or, or nuances from that cigar he picked up. I want to know if it's a complex cigar because I, don't, I love complex cigars. Um, but he's a wealth, a wealth of knowledge. Check out stogiepress.com if you go to the website. Again, paved the way. Paved the way, guys. Uh, Stogie Press, Boston Jimmy, paved the way for what we do. Um, go on stogiepress.com. Look at um, all the reviewers he has, right? All the reviews he has on cigars going back to God knows when. But even more, he's... On the top of the screen, on the right side, you click brick and mortar. You're going to see reviews on every brick and mortar he's visited in all the years he's been out there doing what he does. I'm telling you, paved the way, okay? Um, He is someone I I really look up to. I'm very thankful to have him as a friend of mine, uh, someone I truly, truly respect. So check out stogiepress.com. So I'm not, again, not wasting time. I got a box in the mail. Let's see if this works. If I turn my camera a little bit, get a big, a little bit of a bigger screen for you guys. All right, there we go. So, let me see. If I don't, I don't want to show anybody's address on here. Make sure there's no addresses other than mine. There it is. 
addresses. I got to cut one of these deals. There we go. So I got mail last night. I'm going to open that up for you. I'm not going to lie. I opened it up yesterday briefly just to make sure that nothing was damaged. And then I can do this for you guys. The packaging's phenomenal, man. I mean, they use the foam all around to make to protect the uh, cigars. I got a uh, beautiful patch. Thank you, Nick, and the guys at Cigar Clowns for the patch. Uh, they do have a new logo, but this patch, uh, I'll tell you, this patch, why this one will mean a lot to me, it's the original. Right? I love that origina the originality side of it. Um, and it says, what do you put in your mouth Friday nights, Cigar Clowns? Uh, and again, Cigar Clowns is not just the name of the Facebook group. It's also the brand name, right? So, yeah, it's perfect. I'm digging it, Nick. Now, I'm always a little extra. Hey, thanks for all the coupons, too. You know, let me see. What, which coupon do I have here? Do I have a coupon? Let's see. I got a coupon for $10 upgrade on Romeo from a Cigars International's. I'm just kidding, guys. This is what he threw in there for. Fluffer. All right, so I ordered four, four five packs. And no, I'm not giving any of these away before you guys get all excited. I'm not get doing a giveaway on Cigar Clowns. You want to try one of these? There's only one way to do it. You're going to sit right here in my backyard on my patio, smoke a stogie with me, or you guys get on Cigar Clowns Facebook group and you got to try to get some. Um, it says here, we at Cigar Clowns want to thank you for your purchase of the ultra rare premium cigars. We appreciate your support as we continue the journey to find the perfect stick. Please make sure to post pictures on Facebook page Cigar Clowns and Instagram at Cigar Clowns using hashtag Cigar Clowns, hashtag CC4L. Um, beautiful packaging here. I'm totally digging it. Uh, this one is called Crinkles. And it is, I want to tell you, it's a Maduro. I wish, that's what I do wish it had in here, to be honest with you. It's a more, some description on the cigar. That'd be nice to have in here. Um, pretty gladly, I already know I can look it up at stogiepress.com. I can look it up with Boston Jimmy. Um, but I'm still digging it. So this is a Maduro. It's a very long stick. I hear nothing but great things about this. Oh, yeah. I'm told it's a breakfast cigar. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, and granted, I already know Maduro is going to be one of those cigars. And me and Boston Jimmy were talking about this yesterday. You expect. Uh, wow. You can actually. That's a, it's got some kick to it. Um <clears throat> with a maduro it's a it's a it was a joke but this is what happens with a maduro you want to smoke a strong cigar in the morning be prepared to take a shit i mean it's simple as that guys be close to a toilet don't be driving on the road too much you know you're gonna smoke a maduro at seven eight o'clock in the morning you're gonna suffer for that one uh, it's one of those cigars that you're drinking your coffee and you got to take a break and go to the restroom so um yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's like I said, it's a breakfast stick. It's a Maduro. I hear great things about it. StogiePress.com, you can see the review on that cigar. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to move this back up and change this camera view. I like it better. I know like this, it's a little, this way I can see the comments. Hey, Jack, good morning, brother. So I'm, I'm going to be, I received the four or four, five packs of the crinkles from Cigar Clown. So I'm looking forward to smoking this up. Um, um, what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to smoke this cigar with you guys. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on what I think about it. Um, I'm going to, I'm only going to do a little bit of research because at the end of the day, um, the only person that's had the opportunity to smoke, write about it, uh, and critique it, review it is Boston Jimmy. So again, check that out. Boston Jimmy doc, excuse me. Stogiepress.com. Look up Stogie Press and Boston Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. <clears throat> um, talking to Nick and the guys, you know, it's, it's a it's a breakfast cigar, all right. 
And what that means to me that it's even though it's a Maduro, maybe it's blended in such a way where maybe the Ligero or, you know, whatever's in there isn't going to be so potent. Right. So what I'm going to do and I told Nick, I would I'm going to smoke this for you guys in the in the morning to be my first cigar. This one of the days this week, I'm going to record the entire process of me smoking it. I'm going to show you in a controlled atmosphere. Right. So I'm not going to be out here with my fans on. I got fans above me, fans over here. Um, I don't want the wind uh, or the humidity here in Florida to mess up the stogie. I'm going to do it in my office. Uh, so controlled atmosphere. I'm going to smoke one early in the morning and give you my honest opinion on it. Is it a breakfast cigar? Is it a cigar I can wake up to in the morning and enjoy? You know, Is it a five-hour smoke, two-hour smoke, hour smoke? Like where we at? And I'm going to smoke it the way I smoke all my cigars. I'm just going to chill. All right. So, um, yeah, I heard that too. Kevin said they're super strong and I'm hearing they're not, I'm hearing that it's a, a really smooth, see, all right, palettes, right? This is where, you know, opinions are like assholes, right? I love Kevin. I'm going to be one of his reps. I love all of you guys. We all have different palettes, right? So what's strong for me might not be strong for you. What's light for me might be strong for you. Um, that's why it's so important for, for us to, you know, watch and read, educate ourselves. What kind of tobacco that's again, this is where it's also important to know what kind of tobacco is in that cigar and understanding what, what kind of strengths that tobacco has. Right. So if you're, if you're used to smoking in a Leva V, for example, um, this would be right down here, you know, your the avenue of what you would try to smoke. If you're used to smoking, a, just the Oliva series of Connecticut, you know, you don't want to go from that. You might not want to go from that to this, but if it's blended uh, the right way, it might not affect you so bad, right? You might actually enjoy going from a, a Connecticut to a Maduro. So, you know, and, and Joe touched, Joe and I touched base on this, I think two, three weeks ago, right? It's all our palates are totally different. Um, but to, and then one of the things I also love is is being able to um, to work on my palate alone, build up my palate. Because there's some cigars out there. The minute I put it to my mouth, I'm like, wow, you know, this is this ain't for me. But it's just not for me in the moment, right? I smoked that cigar two weeks from now at you know three o'clock in the afternoon, and it's phenomenal, right? So it's just different, right? Our palates are different. Sometimes you want to wake up and have you know, steak and eggs. Other days you want to wake up and have pancakes and bacon. So, I mean, when it's the same process, I'm thinking food, you know, spirits, wine, beer. Some days you want something, your palate wants something else. Um, you know, you know, you kind of, you learn that stuff. You learn that part of, in the cigars, I guess, that we smoke. And my collection's ridiculous right now. Um, and it's so hard. It's so hard coming in, going into my office to pick a cigar. Because I'm thinking to myself, you know, it's it's early in the morning. It's right here. I'm in Florida. It's 10.58 in the morning. I've been up since 8. I'm going to smoke my first cigar. I want to smoke something light. I grab a Habano. I grab the Habano. Is that light? Is that light for me? Is that light for you guys? I don't know. Um, I would have grabbed a Maduro if I, you know, it's 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 so hard to, to really um, pinpoint that perfect cigar at that perfect time right for us um and when's the perfect time to go from a connecticut to a habano to a maduro to a sumatra um you know you have to play with your cigars you got to build up your palate you got to refine it a little bit you know one of the things i really enjoy doing um and i talked about this yesterday you know this particular cigar is by fuera de siri by tony picks out of uh, miami uh, this is a mini Habano, and I haven't done it for this particular cigar because he get, he gifted this to me the other day, and I'm and I told him I'll, I'll let him know what I think. I've smoked his cigars a while back, but I haven't recently. Um, and one of the things I enjoy doing is researching the cigar, right? So I know this is a Habano. 
I, I know it's a Habano wrapper, but what kind of Habano wrapper? Where, what kind of binder fillers in there? What kind of what are those those little notes I might or might not pick up? What are the strengths of each? Like each tobacco in there might have a different strength, right? I love that um, Nimish Patel touched on that yesterday too on the on the um, the fermenting process, right? And the priming process. Um, so after I do that little bit of research, that's when I usually smoke a cigar. You know, because I, I buy cigars, I let them sit in my humidor for six weeks, two months before I even touch them. I can buy a cigar today and it, I'm not smoking it. I'm smoking the shit I bought, you know, two months ago. I'm not buying the stuff. I'm not smoking the shit I, I got today. That's these. I'm going to break my rule with the cigar clowns, but um, because I want to do a, a video sooner than later. But um, while I'm smoking the cigar, I have a list uh, of, of little notes that I've, that I've written down, and I'm looking for that those little things. So when I say notes, I mean like research paper notes. And um, I'll look, okay, the Habano is going to give me a little bit of spice, a little bit of this. Okay, the... the this tobacco that they used inside there gives me a little bit of this. This one does a little bit of this. You know, Coop said he smoked this cigar and it gave him these flavor notes. So, uh, Boston Jimmy smoked this cigar and he told me that it said it's going to, he got these flavor notes. How are they? He caught that note, but he didn't. I want to know, hey, is one of them talking out of their ass or is that note really there, right? Maybe I don't know what that smells like. Shit, I was telling Jessica one day, I didn't know what one of these... I don't remember what that note was in a cigar. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't even pronounce the damn word. And then I had to Google it. Me and Joe, we're both sitting here and I'm Googling what the hell that is. And uh, then I found out it's a pastry, for God's sake. It was crazy, like art is something. I don't even know what it was. Joe, Joe's going to remember. He's got great memory. I don't. Um, and so I look for that, right? I'll, I'll, I'll look up um, Cigar Obsession. I love watching Brian's videos. I've been a fan of his for a really long time. And again, it's more it's more for consistency, right? Me and Brian are, are not friendly. He lives here in Florida. We're not friends or anything. But um, I respect what we all what we all do, right? So I've been listening. I watch Cigar Obsession, and uh, I Google first. Hey, this particular cigar, right? Cigar review, you know, cigar clown. Let's see what's out there, and I want to see what all these reviewers got. Are there any media outlets that wrote anything, right? And I'm not gonna. I don't read Cigar Fish Niato like a maniac because I don't feel that it's, I think it's biased, but, um, so I don't really jump on, on that bandwagon, but I watch all the reviewers. I can watch 30 reviews, eight reviews, seven reviews, whatever, two reviews on a cigar, and then try to take a little bit of notes from this guy, a couple of notes from that guy, see what's the same, see what was different. And then now it's time for me to experiment. I'm going to try to find that citrus note. I'll smoke 30 cigars because I want to find that citrus note. I didn't find it today, but I might find it tomorrow. And that's the excitement for me when I smoke a cigar. And I mean exciting. Jess can tell you, Joe can tell you, they've seen me sitting right here. And I'm smoking my stogie. As a matter of fact, let's start this up. Um, I'm using a Cuban Crafters Perfect Cutter from... Uh, Don Kiki Cigar Superstore. You can find it on their website. I lo absolutely love this cutter. Um, and we can actually talk about this. I've talked about it before. Um, so, as I was saying, I get really excited when I find that note. And I'm only looking for one note, you know, I can't, I try to find all of them in one shot if I can, but I focus. I'm like, all right, I got to find that citrus note, citrus note. I'll go in the kitchen, smell some oranges, lemon, whatever. I need to citrus, right? Um, and I try to find that note. And when I find it, it's like 4th of July. I am jumping out of my chair. I'm running around the freaking house. I'm out here like I found it. And I, and it's only for a second. You'll never, ever, 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 ever smoke a cigar and say, oh, man, I got citrus notes all the way through. No, you don't. It's It just smacks you in the face and it disappears. 
You get that cocoa note and then it's gone. You get that coffee note and then it's gone. You get that strawberry honey note, gone. Brown sugar, gone. It happens just like that. And, but it's such a beautiful experience when you're able to do that. Um, it's the same thing. Let's compare wine to cigars, right? Have you ever been to a wine tasting? I've been to, I don't know, 100 in my life and uh, really enjoy going to wine tastings. And I, I'm fascinated, absolutely fascinated watching these men and women take that wine, spin it around because they want to see the wine stick to the glass or not, right? And then that's that richness in that wine. Then they smell it. What do we do when we grab our cigars, right? You put it to you put the foot of the cigar to your nose and you smell it. It's the same process. We're not spinning it, but we're doing the same thing. And then when we when you watch them taste that wine and they hold it in their mouths and they aerate it in their mouths, right? They put some wine in, pull in some air, they're aerating it, they're getting all those flavors to mix with their palate. They cleanse it, right? So they rinse a little bit in their mouth because they want that wine to hit every part of their mouth. Isn't that what we do when we smoke a cigar? How sexy is that? That you pull that smoke into your mouth and you wish it around up into your nostrils. You do a, uh, I'm having a brain fart here, but, you know, uh, what? <laughs> Left hand, what? <laughs> Right, but we taste all those little, all the smoke in our mouth, and we let it out because we're looking for that perfect experience. Right, we're looking for those flavor notes. Right? That fascinates me completely. Fat and fascinates me with wine. Um, same thing with cigars. So, I challenge you to do the same. I challenge you to in, engulf yourself in the cigar experience. Research a cigar. After you research that cigar, find a day. A time where you're not going to get rushed and you can take two, three second puffs on your cigar and enjoy it. Be able to sit there in peace, listening to your music, drinking your coffee, your beer, your wine, your spirits, and just enjoy your cigar and look for that flavor note, that one note that is going to change your life when you smoke that cigar. All right. You guys, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are sponsored by none other than Cigar Clowns. I'll be smoking Crinkles with their new release sometime this week uh, for sure. Catch us this Tuesday at 8 o'clock. We're going to be interviewing the entire Cigar Clowns family. Uh, we've got everyone coming on. We're going to introduce you to them all. We're going to have some great conversation. We're going to hurt, and I'll be smoking crinkles then as well. So until Tuesday, thank you so much for all the support. I love you all. Have a great rest of the weekend. Happy Sunday, guys. It is a beautiful sun Sunday morning here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, me and New England Cigar Militias, Kevin Parrell, the commish. We're going to be going down to, where are we going? What's that place called? Oh, we're going to Ripley's Believe It or Not, okay? Uh, so Believe It or Not, we'll be at Ripley's Believe It or Not. And then we're going to go smoke some cigars, hang out right before I take him to the airport. So what's up, Jason Frazier? Raymond Kane, what's up, my brother? Barry Bones, good morning, my friend. Uh, Tyler, I like Habanos in the morning. Yeah, I think it's uh, having a Habano in the morning is great. Right now it's 11.09. My morning's about over, but uh, I'm going to light this up right now. Um, finish my, my croissant. I eat and smoke, but uh, finish my croissant. It's great. You know, on the retro hill, I'll tell you before I get off. On the retro hill, so mild. I mean, not even real strong peppery. It, it's almost like a white pepper. Um, and it's very smooth, really nice, really enjoyable. Definitely check this out, Fuera de Siri. 
Uh, Tony's going to be coming on with us the next couple of weeks. We're also going to be sitting down with Eddie Tarazona uh, in the next couple of weeks. I'm promising you that for a while, but Eddie's been really busy promoting his brand and traveling. Um, but me and him are setting something up right now. It's going to be live. He's going to be live with us uh, in the cigar, in one of our local cigar shops, or right here at the house in the Cigar Enthusiast Lounge. So, guys, I love you all again. Stay classy, stay smoky, enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you don't see me be between now and Tuesday, see you guys Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, as we interview Cigar Clown. Join us. Take care, guys.